Could Call of Duty's latest feature be a revolution for all gamers? Call of Duty Black Ops 6 has just dropped a game-changing set of accessibility features and it's not just about leveling up your KD or taking down zombies. This is about making gaming accessible for everyone and it might just be setting a new standard for the entire industry. Accessibility in gaming has been a hot topic lately, but few franchises have tackled it as boldly as Call of Duty Black Ops 6. With this new release, they didn't just add a feature or two. They overhauled how differently abled gamers can interact with one of the biggest first-person shooters on the planet. Today, we're diving into what makes these accessibility features revolutionary and why other games should be taking notes. One of the standout features in Black Ops 6 is the asymmetrical hearing compensation. Imagine being able to customize audio settings so that sound levels adapt to each ear independently. This feature is built for players with asymmetrical hearing loss, which can make a huge difference in a fast-paced game where every sound matters. And they didn't stop there, Call of Duty also introduced the option to reduce high-pitched noises like flashbang grenades, making it less overwhelming for those with sensory sensitivities. It's one of those small tweaks that could make a huge difference for many gamers. Then there's the expanded high contrast mode. Now this isn't just a rehash of the contrast options we've seen before. This mode gives players full control over how allies and enemies appear on screen. They can adjust colors, brightness, and even add a dark background for better contrast, making it easier for players with visual impairments to spot details. Plus, this contrast mode is available across both the campaign and zombies modes. It's a huge step forward in making sure that every part of the game is accessible. For players with limited mobility, Black Ops 6 introduced intelligent movement. Instead of requiring a rapid series of button presses, this mode allows players to perform actions with fewer inputs, reducing the physical demands of intense gameplay. Imagine being able to compete at the highest levels without struggling with complex controls. For many, this is a game changer. They've also added HUD presets that allow players to adjust on-screen displays to suit their needs, whether you want information simplified, highlighted, or positioned in a way that's easier to read, Black Ops 6 gives you that control. And let's talk about Arachnophobia mode in Zombies, where spider-like enemies are redesigned, making the mode more comfortable for players with Arachnophobia. The accessibility doesn't stop there. Black Ops 6 is now compatible with adaptive controllers from both Xbox and Sony, making the game even more inclusive. Plus, in Zombies mode, you can now pause and save the game whenever you want. That's a lifesaver for players who need to take breaks but don't want to lose progress in an intense round. With all of these features, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is proving that accessibility is more than just a checklist. It's about rethinking what it means to play and ensuring that no one is left out. These updates don't just benefit players with disabilities, they make the game more enjoyable for everyone. And here's the big question, will other franchises follow this lead? Time will tell, but Black Ops 6 is making a powerful statement about the future of accessible gaming. It's not only setting the bar high, but it's also showing the entire industry that gaming should be for everyone. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about these features. Do you think other games should be doing the same? And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more gaming updates, insights and deep dives just like this one.